Welcome, Welcome to Soap, soap. That, is that is my life. life. Hello, hello. I promised you to do a fit on the Mandela effect and its relations to D-wave quantum computers. And I did some research on it and it got way over my head. But I'm going to try to explain it anyway. Apparently, uh, D-wave quantum com computers are made with super colliding systems uh, that have a very high computing speed. And that is um, possible to give many correct answers to many problems in a fraction of the time of a normal computer. Now, what does this have to do with the uh, Mandela effect? Apparently, with a quantum computer, you can actually tap in to the alternate realities into par parallel dimensions, or at least that is what is suggested that can be done. And that has been suggested that is what exactly that has been done and that you can, you know, uh, sort of augment the reality we are in today and that it messes up brains and memories and or uh, creates a merging of, of certain realities and that that is exactly what is happening today with the um, with the Mandela effect. So it isn't exactly what I thought it was. I thought it was um, related to the uh, simulation hypothesis that we are living in the matrix. It still could be that. I mean, if these computers are so powerful, uh, they could still possibly be um, used as, as as a means to make a simulation um, in order to study our history or in other in 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 a way as to tap into the brains of the one who makes the simulation as to giving him an opportunity to live in this simulation too and to experience what has happened here or uh, maybe uh, as a vacation resort. I did I did this stuff uh, on my main channel. If you want to know more about that, go to my main channel and uh, uh, watch the video of the simulation uh, hypothesis. But apparently, um, when talking about quantum computers and D-wave quantum computers, um, Generally, they talk about tapping into parallel dimensions and uh, messing up the brains or the reality we are in today. today. Um, hacking into the brains of certain people and if that is what has happened with me, you know, <laughs> um, uh, I don't know. It's... it's, it's very much uh, looking like mind control and I, I don't I don't want that no uh, it's too negative for me I don't think uh, I like to think that this this thing hasn't been done on purpose by being negative and by can be con to control people on the other hand if it has if it has been that intention um Dr. Terran Lupo said uh, that control is not really, or it backfired or, uh, on them because, uh, you know, we Mandela affected are finding ourselves in communities now and we're uh, talking about it and getting together and, and, and you know, forming like a, a, a community, <laughs> a, a, a gathering of people, even if it's only on, 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 on the internet. But um, that was what I found about it.
I suggest you do some more research about it. It was a little bit uh, over my head at the, at the moment. Uh, I have been busy this weekend. Uh, I am uh, preparing to uh, make a main channel video now so I can edit it. So. And tomorrow uh, I possibly won't be talking about the Mandela effect because I still have a life outside that. And that is basically what my vlog channel is all about. And I will be going to pick up my wife from the airport. So be looking forward to that. Bye.